Welcome to Shopkeep Video Support. I'm David, here to help you set up and use your Cloverflex all-in-one credit card reader and printer. Let's get started. The Cloverflex connects to the Shopkeep Register app over your existing Wi-Fi network to process credit cards, print receipts, and display sales information to your customers. First, let's set up the Cloverflex hardware. Begin by connecting the power cable to the power adapter brick. Plug the other end of the power cable into a power outlet and plug the power adapter into the round port on the bottom of the charging cradle. Then push the cable into the rubber grip. Now place the Cloverflex on the cradle and wait for the charging icon to appear on the screen. To turn on the Cloverflex, press and hold the power button on the side until you see the Clover logo. To load the printer paper, turn the device over and lift open the cover on its underside. Grab the paper so its leading edge feeds from the bottom of the roll, place the roll into the printer tray, and close the cover on the paper. With the Cloverflex powered on, let's activate it for use with Shopkeep. Start by locating your activation code. Log into the business owner email address for your Shopkeep account and search for the Cloverflex activation code email. Open the message and take note of the eight-digit code inside. With the activation code handy, you can proceed with activation. On the Cloverflex, select your language and tap Set Language. Then tap Configure to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Select your network from the list. Enter its password and tap Connect. Wait for the Flex to check for updates. Then enter the activation code from your email. Choose a four or six digit passcode that will be used to unlock the Cloverflex and tap Set Passcode. Enter the passcode again and tap Confirm. Wait for the Cloverflex to download and install its default apps. When everything is finished installing, tap Print Test Receipt to test your printer, then tap Continue. Decide if you want to require passcode entry to unlock the device, but do not change the second setting here. Instead, set up tip and signature preferences in your Shopkeep back office. Tap Continue and you'll be taken to the Cloverflex's home screen. On the home screen, open up the Network Pay Display app and tap Start. Review how to exit the app and tap Got It. With your Cloverflex activated, you'll need to connect it to the Shopkeep Register app on your iPad. Before continuing, be sure to update to the latest version of Shopkeep. Now on your iPad, open the Settings app. Make sure the iPad is on the same network as your Clover device. Then open Shopkeep and sign in. Tap the menu button to open the control panel and select Get Updates. When the app is finished syncing, tap Hardware Setup. Here on the card reader screen, you'll see the Clover Flex device. To connect to the Clover Flex, just tap Clover Device. A pop-up will appear asking you to install a required certificate. Tap OK and the Safari app will automatically open. Tap Allow and the Settings app will then open. Tap Install, tap Install again, and tap Install one more time to confirm the installation. Then tap Done to return to Safari. Now read and follow the instructions displayed on screen. After completing all the steps, tap Return to Register and select Open to go back to the Shopkeep app. With the certificate installed, you can pair the Cloverflex with your register. On the card reader screen, tap Clover Device to get your pairing code. Then on the Flex, enter the pairing code displayed in Shopkeep. Back in Shopkeep, a check mark will appear to indicate the pairing was successful. Now tap Printer Setup. Toggle the switch next to the Clover device to use it as the receipt printer for this register. At this point, setup is complete and the device is ready to use with Shopkeep. Now let's explore how the Flex's customer-facing display works. As the cashier rings up a sale in Shopkeep, the Clover Flex displays the name, quantity, and price of each item. When items are added to or removed from the sale, the display updates accordingly. Subtotal, tax, and total due all appear on the Clover Flex's screen, and discounts applied to the sale are reflected in the subtotal. Let's finish the sale and learn how to accept credit cards with the device. To charge a credit card with the Clover Flex, tap Credit in Shopkeep to tender a transaction. If gratuity is enabled, have the customer select a tip option on the Clover Flex's screen. The display then prompts the customer to swipe, insert, or tap their card. 
Let's process a swiped credit card first. With the card's magnetic stripe facing down, the customer slides their card in either direction through the swipe track. If the customer has an EMV chip card, they insert their card, chip end first, into the slot. When prompted, the customer removes their card. The Flex also supports a variety of contactless payments, such as Apple Pay. The customer just holds their device or card within one inch of the contactless symbol on the device. Now to finish the sale. If the customer pays with a debit card, they must choose whether to process the sale as credit or as debit. If the customer pays with a credit card, however, the Flex will bypass the screen. For credit transactions, the customer signs the screen and taps Done. For debit transactions, the customer enters their PIN and taps Enter. The customer then picks a receipt option, and the cashier taps Done in Shopkeep to confirm the receipt selection and complete the sale. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, just visit us online at shopkeep.com support.